Welcome to a quick start guide outlining how to set up an internal database with EasyBadges. EasyBadges Beginner comes with the ability to use the internal database if you wish. Using the internal database makes inputting cardholder info quicker and gives you the ability to save records of previously created cards that can be updated or reprinted easily. Again, using the internal database is optional. Alternatively, you can double click on individual text boxes and update the information below. But if you want to use the internal database, here is how you set it up. The best way to get started is to design your badge how you want it. Add any text boxes, images, barcodes, or any other objects on your card you would like before you start to create your internal database. Once we have our card looking the way we want it, we can begin the process of setting up our internal database. To do this, select the Create a Database option at the top of the card design window. It will prompt you. You are about to create a database. Would you like to proceed? Click Yes, and the database will be created. If the database is successfully created, you will see a database field name ID show up in the database menu on the right hand side. Next, you'll want to add a column to the internal database table for each piece of variable information you have in your card. For example, if you have a text box for first name, last name, and job title, you're going to want to add a field for first name, last name, and job title. So I can do this by selecting this option here, add a column to the table, and for this column I'm going to name it first name. and hit save and this has added the first name column to my field and if we go to the table view here we can see that here first name is now added as a column in my database so I'm going to repeat the steps for my other items on my card Once we've added all the fields we need in our database, we can link them to the objects on the card. I'm going to start off by selecting my first name text box and then navigating to the source menu on the right. After this, I'm going to change my source to from database and the column to first name. I'm going to repeat this step for my other database field. So I'm going to select last name, change the source to from database and the column to its respective column. So since I am linking up the last name field to this text box, I'm going to change the column here to last name. And I'm gonna repeat that for the other ones as well. Linking photos in the internal database is a similar setup process. Just add a column for your photo field Hit the three dots next to your photo field and change the data type to be point to indexed image. This tells the software that our images are going to be saved in a folder in an external location. Click the three dots next to point to indexed image and select the folder where your photos are going to be saved. If you have an image saved on your computer and you would like to add it to your record, hit the camera icon here, acquire image, and then select open image file on the right. This will prompt you to select an image saved on your computer, select the image and hit open and click the check mark on the right hand side. This will add the image to the record, hit save record at the very top to apply the changes. You can also acquire images for your internal database using a webcam connected to your computer. Select the camera icon next to the image field and it will prompt you to take a photo. If you're satisfied with the image, click the check mark next to the photo and a preview of it will appear. You can save it to the record by selecting save record at the top. To add a record to your database, click the plus button at the top right hand corner of the screen. And then you can fill out the empty database field on the right, and the information will start to show up on the card. Once you have all the information filled out, click the checkbox at the top right hand corner of the badge design window. Now that I have my badge filled out, I'm going to save my record by clicking this checkbox here at the top right. And if we click on table view here, we can see that this record has been saved to my database. Clicking this checkbox here will always save the record to the database and apply the changes. It's super important to always remember to click it after you've made any changes to your card, because if you select next record or insert record before clicking save, it will erase the changes that you have made to your card. That concludes the setup guide for the internal database with Easy Badges. If you ever have any questions with the setup process, do feel free to give us a call. We are available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time and over email at support at easybadges.com.